most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you struggle love me you will keep my commandments and um and what he mean by that is if you love me um you'll do everything i ask you do what's pleasing to me What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And I am back with a video. I'm just telling y'all about what happened to me. I'm gonna tell y'all my experience. Um, so I was telling y'all about the movers. And um, I said that, you know, I wasn't going to um, expose them or anything like that. Um, because of the fact that, you know, I was gonna give them a chance and stuff like that. And, you know, at this point in time though, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like ready to just talk because I haven't heard anything from him. He has not contacted me, even though he messed up my stuff. Um, it's just a number of things that happened. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. First off, um, uh, when they were moving my things from Georgia, um, I was referred to them by my daughter and she was referred, I mean, and, and I guess they helped her move or whatever, but um, it was a short distance, so I guess maybe that's why she, you know, thought that they, you know, were, were cool, you know. And so, um, so prior to him, you know, me, me meeting him, I, you know, told him about my situation and all, how I wanted to get moved. I told him also how I was very particular, excuse me, I told him how I was very particular about my things. And he was even saying, it like, I could see you real particular person, how you wrap your stuff up and how I could tell, you know, it's going to be real smooth and easy. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, you know, give me a hard time on, you know, um, they stuff, they expect us to come in and just, you know, grab their stuff and they don't even have it, you know, uh, wrapped properly or whatever, you know, even though they come and take down and when they move you, they're supposed to be the ones that set up. But I call myself, you know, being that I am particular about my stuff, um, I call myself, um, you know, I wrapped stuff myself. You know, I took my time and, you know, uh, like I said, we wrapped each mirror with blankets. We, we wrapped TVs with blankets. We put, you know, tape around them. Uh, we, uh, we wrapped, when I say saran wrap, I'm saying it wrong. We had this wrap, moving wrap that you, uh, wrap the dressers with and everything. And, um, so, you know, it, it just goes to show, you know, that I'm real, you know, careful about my stuff. And it looked like he would have saw that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he even said, you know, I see how you real, real particular about your stuff. You know, we, we take real good care of it. And, uh, and I kept saying, you know, it, it makes me angry because I kept saying, you know, be, please be careful with my stuff and, you know, just you know, take your time. He was reassuring me that, you know, he got the best crew and all of this and I ain't have nothing to worry about. And, um, he was even telling me, you know, um, you know, basically that, you know, they like real professional with their stuff. He like that with his stuff. So he know how I am and, you know, just be careful how you box the stuff and all of that. And, you know, and of course, you know, I, I know how to box stuff. You know, I moved plenty of times as, as y'all can, you know, tell or you know know of me or whatever so i know how to box my stuff and i know i want my stuff looking a certain type of way so anyway getting back um so already um i called him two weeks prior to my move-in date two weeks prior when i found out my move-in date was july the 22nd um i then called him as soon as i found that out and said july 22nd is my move-in date you have two weeks you know just letting you know up front you know, also that I know my stuff was in public storage and that, um, you know, um, that, that rent was going to be due for my storage August 1st. So I was like really letting them know, like I ain't paying no $150 and I ain't got to, I'm in July 22nd, you know? So he was like, okay, good. No problem. I got you and all of this type of stuff. So, um, anyway, when the 22nd got here, um, he calls me. I think on the 21st and was like, 
oh, you know, I, I don't know where that key at. I don't even know where the storage to the, you know, the uh, key to the storage is at. Well, come to find out, um, I thought that he had a, a, a key and I had a key to the storage. But I guess um, somehow I, I just think that he knew that too, that just to buy him some time. But nevertheless, um, I said, I have a key. And I mailed it to him overnight. Um, I took and went to the post office that morning or whatever. When I found out he didn't have a key on Sunday night. Monday, um, I went to the post office and I shipped that key for $25.20 um, FedEx to get there overnight or whatever. The next day or whatever. And so um, I called them on Tuesday, which he said would be there by 12 noon. So I called him on Tuesday or whatever. And um, he was like, uh, oh, yeah, I got the key. Yeah, but I think I'm going to leave on out, um, you know, uh, Thursday because I got an appointment, you know, and all this. And I was like, appointment for what, you know? And, and I was like, okay. So I was patient about that. I was like, well, okay. You know, um, you know, I can wait a couple of days. I know he, he got other movers and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I waited. And then um, it's like, I, I will always have to call him, by the way. I'm always having to call this. I feel like if you're professional, you should be like, okay, um, I got the key. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to be leaving out on such and such date. Just want to let you know, update you on stuff. But no, I had to call him and find out, did you get the key? You know what I'm saying? And to me, you know, that was aggravating and annoying. And then, um, so I let that ride. I was like, well, you know, you know, maybe he busy and stuff like that. I don't want to make like I'm bothering the guy or bugging him, you know. But, you know, I'm just worried about my stuff, you know, like anybody else would be. So, um, then what happened was, um, so after, um, Thursday got here. I was like, well, they was like, well, mama, won't you call and see if he on the road yet? Yeah, you know, he said he was leaving out Thursday. I was like, well, I don't want to bug him. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to. Plus, I don't want no bad news because I got a feeling, I vibe that this man ain't on the road because he didn't communicate that with me either. You know, so when I called him, I was like, let me go ahead and call him. So I called him. And he was like, I was like, yeah, um, well, how was everything going? Um, Sardonis, that's his name. And um, he was like, um. Oh, oh, everything good. Everything moving smooth. I went and checked on your stuff or whatever. And, um, hold on, my light going out. I went and checked on your stuff and everything. And, you know, everything's in there as I set it up. I'm not calling you to check on my furniture to see how it's set up in the storage. I'm, I'm calling you because I'm wondering, are you on the road le yet like you told me? You know, but you're telling me, oh, your furniture good. It's, it's in the storage now. It's not supposed to be on the storage. It's supposed to be on the back of your truck, and you're supposed to be on the road. So I was like, okay. So I was like, um, okay, Sardonis, at this point in time, you telling me, you know, you keep telling me storage, you know. Well, you, I ain't had a key. I was like, that's no excuse. I, I mailed the key. You had it the next day, and I talked to you after that. You, you said, oh, yeah, I got it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll leave off Thursday. So now you don't try to use that. No, you can't use that as an excuse. So he was like, well, I got a, uh, you know, other, uh, 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 appointments and stuff like that. But you were paid up front, you know? And it was like, my son had to, you know, cause I had him on sink inside the car and my son had to so angry that, I mean, he spoke up and was like, man, you already got your money. Why should we have to wait? You know what I'm saying? We sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And, um, he was like, well, um, uh, I'll, 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 I'll be there Friday. I'm sorry. So then, um, Friday came, didn't hear from him. He calls and says, well, yeah, um, I'm leaving out on, I had to call him. Wait a minute. Did I call him? I don't want to lie. Hold up. I called him again. I was like, so you, um, you know, leaving out. He was like, no. Uh, oh yeah, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there Sunday night. Uh, worst case scenario, Monday. By this time, you know, I'm getting upset because you didn't told me, okay, uh, Thursday. Then you, you know, first of all, it was supposed to be on the 22nd. Okay, I found out I ain't had a key. Granted, that was my fault. Then you told me, okay, I got it the next day, but I ain't bring. I ain't, Wednesday, I got an appointment. You put me off. Then Thursday, oh, I'll have, I'll be on the road Thursday. I mean, you just keep telling me you know, these d different days, but you're not here yet. You know what I'm saying? And by this time, I'm getting worried about my stuff, you know. And um, so when he got the stuff, um, 
When he finally called, he was like, I'll be there Sunday night, worst case scenario, Monday. I said, no. At, at this point, don't tell me Sunday night. Just go on ahead and say Monday, talking about worst case scenario. Just go on and say Monday, Sir Donuts, because that's when you coming. You know what I'm saying? I need for you to really stop giving me the run around on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not right. You know, it's not fair. You was paid up front. And I feel like whoever other appointments that you had before me, they, they could have waited because I was that slot should have been for me because we already paid. This is why we had a problem with paying you up full in the first place. We wanted to give you half and then you give you the other half when you got here because we wasn't guaranteed on our end that you was even coming on our furniture either. You know what I'm saying? But stuck my neck out there, trusted him, prayed to God like, Lord, please, Lord Jesus, don't let this man take off with our furniture or not. Eat. Don't let him be a fraud or a scammer. You know what I'm saying? Please, uh, I need my furniture. You know, I'm not going to buy all that stuff all over again and, you know, things and beautiful things that, you know, Queen had bought me and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I was like just upset about it. So when he came Monday, I was like, okay, finally he here. Um, he was here at, um, I forgot what time it was, y'all. I was just happy. It was, it was like, I don't want to say uh, morning or no noonish around that time or something like that. But when he came... Um, first off, he, um, they, they was delivering the furniture up and I started noticing stuff as they moving stuff in, you know, I'm, I'm checking stuff, you know, there was, like I told y'all, my table footprints where they didn't stood on my table. Mind you, he said my, oh, people I work for, I mean, they work for me, you know, uh, they, they real professional. Your stuff going to be handled, baby. If your stuff be broken, it's because the way you may have packed it or something like that. I said, no, my stuff shouldn't be messed up. Period. If I got my stuff in moving boxes and taped off and everything, none of my stuff should be messed up. Okay. So when I got the uh, table frame before they run the glass top to it, I said, my frame is messed up. He sat in the truck by the way the whole time he came with one guy and his son his 13 year old son um we sitting in the um truck or whatever then he's sitting in the truck the whole time and um the guy was the, that was moving he was really nice he was a real nice guy um and he was just doing all this heavy work and i felt so bad you know because sardana said first he was coming with his son only i was like you had four men when you came and moved me out the house. So you mean tell me to bring that same stuff back? You only got you and your 13-year-old son? No, you're not going to make that. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be too much work on your 13-year-old, you know? So um, I said, plus, you got two flights of stairs to go up, you know? So I'm looking out, still considering, letting them know up front everything, you know? And he sat in that truck the whole time while him and his son, uh, I mean, not him and his son, his son and, and the guy that he picked up, his name is Terrell, too. He was a real nice guy. Um, did all that work. You know what I'm saying? By this time, I'm seeing Nick's in my chairs. Nick's uh, all on my table. Um, Y'all saw it was scratched up. I wiped it off. It was footprints on it. They stood. They couldn't deny it. I took pictures of the uh, footprints. I'm going to put it at the end of this video so y'all know I'm not lying. Nick's in my chair. Brand new furniture, y'all. Delivered to my house from rooms to go. Um... Hardly ever sat on just me and, and some company. My, my company would come. The kids wouldn't sit there because I would fuss at them like, forget it. Y'all get up. Y'all don't like to clean off the glass when y'all get done. Go sit at the island. That's how I was. Okay, but y'all nicked it up, messed it up and stuff, you know. And then Tina's, um, dying, uh, her table, her, um, I'm sorry, her nightstand, it was all bumped up and nicked up. And I'm put a, take a picture of that and put it on it at the end of this video. Um, how it was messed up. And then when I said something to him about it, to this man, he was like, um, well, uh, I, I don't know how the condition of the furniture was before I moved it, but I know I threw blankets on that stuff and I made sure I, I took my time and all of this. And I'm like, no, that is not what you said. My furniture was brand new, including bedroom suits and everything. Okay. Wasn't nothing nicked up. It's all bumped up around her edge. It's just, this look terrible. Okay. Not to mention, um, I can't put my dresser uh, mirror on, onto my dresser because one of the sticks are missing. So I got to go all the way out to 14 Mile Road. Uh, and and what is that road? He's mound, mound and 14 Mile to Art Van Furniture to hopefully they sell the other um, piece of the uh, attachment uh, stick for to me so that I can put up my dresser with my mirror. Um, I, I packed... I got mail in a bag that I had packed. Um, everything was in it, like, uh, you know, birth certificates, social security cards, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't have it. You know, it's it's a lot of stuff that um, just was, like, 
tossed around and thrown around and it wasn't you know it just it just doesn't make no sense to say that you're a professional mover and i sat and told this man you know i said is you even gonna get out your car and, and and i mean not your car get out the moving truck and come in here and holler at me because my stuff is messed up uh yeah i'll be in there uh what, what's the problem i'm telling him i'm sending pictures to his uh phone while he's sitting out in the uh, truck or whatever and i'm like look at my furniture what's this he ain't answered back i'm asking a moving guy the mover terrell i'm like is he even getting my yeah he up he up he's sitting in the truck or whatever i'm like so why is he ignoring me you know what i'm saying so he answered the, the phone for his son, though, because his son, he, he said something to his son. He was rushing him to hurry up and stuff. I'm like, come on, because I drove 10 hours. I'm I'm trying to get back. I mean, it was just so unprofessional. That you got paid $2,500, and my stuff looked like this. You know what I'm saying? That's wrong, you know? And it's like, you wouldn't, I had to, I had to almost like sneak, sneak, sneak you in a way where it was like, hey, that your daddy on the phone? Tell him, don't he see my phone calls? Is he going to come up here and holler at me, you know? He came upstairs. First off, um, new carpet on the stairs. Um, he did not take off his dirty shoes, okay? Um, the other two was advised, okay, when you come up the stairs, please just take your shoes off. I know, you know, uh, it's but it's brand new in here. Everything's brand new, and I don't want my... You know, when y'all leave, it, it looked like, you know, it was messed up. So, you know, it was a, they was very cooperative. You know what I'm saying? They took their shoes off. He just walked right on in, you know, um, came upstairs. I was like, are you even going to put my uh, nook, my brown uh, table? I got two dinette sets. One of the other one I had at first, um, he took the legs off of it. I said, do you have any tools in your truck? Did you bring them? He was like, no, nah, I ain't bring no tools. No. I said, so you took my furniture apart without my permission. I asked you at first. I said, please don't take my, my, my tables apart or my furniture. Um, I had to beg him, like, please don't take my sectional apart. Because he was talking about taking my sectional. Taking, I think I'm going to take them legs off. Yeah, I'm going to take that back off of there and um, put that back on. I said, sir, please don't touch my furniture. I mean, I had moved my furniture from Michigan to Alabama, from Alabama to Georgia. I didn't have to break any of my furniture down. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain way you, you know, you pack that stuff. So anyway, he took my four legs off my um other dinette set that's sitting in a nook area and um come upstairs where I could put it back together, you know. No, it, it's, it's not going to be tight without no, you know, Allen wrench. So I had to go and get all that stuff because it's not wobbling. Man, that table is just back and forth it's just rocking you know what i'm saying it was sturdy when you take apart somebody's furniture why should i have to be the one to put that back together you shouldn't have never took my furniture apart i asked you not to you know it was just rude and he was just sitting there looking at me i was like i said sir not sir Donis, you would be upset if it was you you know what i'm saying you would be upset if it was your stuff you know and he just sitting there just you know, looking at me like, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I put, I wrapped the stuff. I, it was nonchalant. Like, I got my money up front. Um, Hey, I've got your stuff here. That's the attitude he had. You know, it was just rude. And I'm sitting here thinking like, why well, ain't going to expose him? But, dang, look how you played me. You know what I'm saying? I get ready to put my dresser to, together today. I ain't even got all my stuff. How you going to deliver somebody's stuff, lose half the stuff? I got everything up out that storage room. No, you didn't, because if you did, I would have it. I don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Would you inconvenience me and cost me more money? You only called the next day to say, oh, I found the mover. Uh, I mean, I found somebody for your table in Plymouth. I'm going to call again and let you know, whatever. Just trying to, you know, like ain't nobody going to say nothing. But I'm saying something, because this man called me money, and that was it. This is Friday. I ain't heard from that man. Like I said... He was going to play me. You know, he just wanted to get out of there. And I got a, a, a scratched up table. Tina got damaged stuff. I got missing things. I can't find my important mail. I know I packed. It's like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let y'all know to make this video a short because I'm going to cut it from here. Uh, do not, when y'all from Atlanta and y'all want y'all stuff moved, do not use Atlanta Moves. That's the name, Atlanta Moves. And what's scary is when I looked them up, I couldn't even find them in the, uh, on, on the um, website or whatever. But Atlanta Moves. Do not use him. His name is Sardanis. He a heavy set, bald headed black dude. Um, do not use him because um, my furniture is damaged or whatever. Some of it was damaged, not all of it. Some of it was damaged, and he 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 cared less. He took my furniture apart. 
then put it back together. He was just very unprofessional. And I even had to tell him when I was talking to him, I said, I'm very particular about my dinette set. Just like right now, you know, uh, you sitting in my chair with your foot up on my uh, rest uh, uh, board up under the chair. I said, I don't even put my foot up there. Get your foot off my chair. You know, because by, by that time he had made me mad, you know, and I didn't, you know, usually don't talk to nobody like that, but it's like, you respect other people's things. You know what I'm saying? Especially what you saying, you being a professional mover. You supposed to, you know, be, you know, treat that stuff like it's your own. My ex-husband was a mover and he used to always come home and tell me, he used to, he worked for RNL Carrier back in the day. And he would tell me, um, you know, Reva, you know, people got some beautiful things. And, you know, these two co-workers I work with, he was like, man, they was all reckless with their stuff. These people had real crystal, Reva. You know, you break that stuff, you know, you liable for all of that. You know, he would be real careful with people's stuff, you know. And I've learned, you know, a lot of that from him because, you know, he's a, a professional mover. And um, it was like... This man that says, you know, I'm, 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 I'm past all that moving stuff in. You know, I have other people doing it. I'm looking at you, but if you the man, why you got your 13 year old tired pushing up the stairs? You, evidently, you ain't that man because you ain't got that crew. You know what I'm saying? You got your 13 year old out here like that. You know, and he did a pretty good job, but it's just the point that he was tired. You know what I'm saying? The other guy was tired. I told the guy to sit down. He said, man, we ain't supposed to sit down enough. I said, sit down and take you a break. You want some water? If I had all my dishes up here and stuff, I could have fixed you something to eat because that's the type of person I am. You know, take your time. He took a break and he sat down. I got him some water and he was like, oh, he calling. I got to get up because, you know, he wants us to hurry up. That's a lot of nerve. You sitting out here in the truck chilling. You know what I'm saying? And they doing all this hard work. No, you're not the man. And I don't appreciate if you see this video, how you messed my furniture up and did not um get back with me. That was rude. It was rude and I'm upset and I'm offended. And you shouldn't blame me for being that way. Being that you are a professional mover. Okay? And I would trust no one. I would recommend no one to you. Um, You don't care. It's not your stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't care. So... Why should I care about your reputation? You could do that to you could do that to somebody else in Atlanta and they can be very upset. You know what I'm saying? Very upset. So I'm just letting them know what type of person that you are because that was very rude of you. You know, I was up front with you. You got paid up front. I was polite. I helped you. Everything you asked me to do, I, I cooperated. You know, I'm going to need you to, you know, make sure you box the clothes. But I made sure, which I knew to do that anyway, because like I said, I'm particular about my stuff. You know what I'm saying? But for missing mail, um, missing parts to my furniture, nicks and scratched up furniture, I'm supposed to be upset. So Sardana's with Atlanta Moves, I wouldn't recommend at all. And that's all I got to say. And I'm going to end this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.